happy. I don't know what today is. Mm, you guys are a little dirty. Hold on. There you go. That's better. Happy let's see. Tuesday. Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I am studying for my pharmacology exam I have on Thursday. All the kids are at school except Allie. She has some kind of stomach thing going on. So she's home downstairs. And I'm in my room, as you can see, trying to study. But I have zero motivation. Zero. Zero motivation to study. Pharmacology is one of those things that I just don't like studying for. It's memorization. And I am not a good memorizer. That is just me. Um, I'm not a good memorizer. Just not a good memorizer. So, I'm going to try to sit here and work through these meds for my exam so I at least can pass the exam. That's the goal. <clears throat> pass the exam with a, my goal is an 85. It's going to be my goal. That way... When I take my HESI, I don't have to rely on so many points. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how many points I need. I have to I have to do some math. See how many points I need to actually pass the class, but it's not much. It's like, a th I don't need, it's like, I don't know, 30 points, 40 points, something like that. Something in that nature. Um, and that should be easy with two exams left. Um, what I'm not worried about, but I want to be able to know my stuff. So I'm going to study and try to get through these benzos, blue spar, you know, sedatives, barbiturates, opioids, cholinergics, corticosteroids, antimedics, uh, antibacterials, decongestants, antipyretics, broncos, Mastel stabilizers, mast cell stabilizers, and then of course you have your psych meds, which is like first line, second line, third line. And then you have your vasos, your statins, your aces, your arbs, your lols, your beta blockers, your PPIs. There's just so many medications, and this was only meds for one so I'm going to try to figure out a way to memorize these and the signs and symptoms and the contraindications and just those funky you know things that these meds do like don't take with grapefruit juice may make your urine yellow or blue or um, you know causes orthostatic hypotension or um, Turns the urine red or orange. That's for um, reframpin. So reframpin, red or orange. Trying to make those connections. Uh, what causes serotonin syndrome? Things like that. So there's no easy way to study for these. I wish I had what I wish I had have done in the beginning of the semester is taken the meds for that particular chapter and just studied those meds like extensively <clears throat> for those chapters um, even before the exam. So what I was focusing on was mostly nursing interventions and what I would do as opposed to like really digging deep into farm. So I learned my lesson and I won't be doing that again because now I'm trying to cram for an exam that has, I don't know, 200 medications and 50 questions. And it's not going to be easy because all the meds are just like mismatched in my head and I can't sort them out. So that's my goal is to sort them out today and then tomorrow is to really see what I don't know and focus on that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And then I got to go pick up the kids. I have to pick up Jay in a few hours. And then I need to make dinner. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll take Jay to karate again t today. We'll see. We'll see, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Excuse me, we'll see. Okay, so it's school pickup time. Of course, I brought my pharmacology with me, but I cannot, like, get into it. I mean, I'm writing notes and stuff, but I just can't, like, <laughs> I hate pharmacology so much. It's just so much to remember. And realistically, in the hospital, like, you're, 
if you're on a, the same floor, you're noticing that the doctors use the same type of drugs, so you get to know those drugs like really, really well, and what their signs and symptoms are, contraindications, what to assess, and all that good stuff, and the labs to look for. But it's hard to implement that when you're in nursing school because you're not physically like taking care of a patient that is actually taking this particular medication, and then they throw like 20 more medications that you need to know. So it's just kind. Of, I'm the type of learner that I need to apply what I've learned to actually learn it. Does that make sense? Um, by the way, I'm in a tank top. Look, you guys, it's, it's 73 degrees. It doesn't feel, it feels warmer than that. It's a bit humid, actually. And it feels so nice. I love Florida weather in the wintertime. It's my favorite. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to, to get through this packet. I don't even, it's so hard to like, what are they gonna ask me? Like, are they gonna ask me mechanism of action? I mean, I'm assuming most of it's gonna be like nursing interventions and assessing and education, but it's hard to tell because there's so many medications. But I'm here picking up Jay from school and then I gotta put gas in the car and then wait for Layla to come home. I might start cooking early, that way it's done and out of the way. I might just do that. I don't know if we're gonna do karate today or not. Um, usually we go, we don't, but belt testing's coming up pretty soon, so I want him to get some extra, some extra practice in. People are looking at me weird, like I'm talking to myself. So, well, which is, I am talking to myself, but I'm talking to you guys. Um, so yeah, day in the life of nursing student and mom. Again, this is my life, it's pretty boring. It's not very exciting right now. But we do have some exciting stuff coming, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, stay a while. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when I upload. And hint, hint, there might be a giveaway coming soon, so make sure you subscribe. And, uh, yeah, so. I think that's it. No makeup. Still look like crap. But it is what it is. Real life. I need to get a stand for this. I really need to get a stand. Like, Santa, bring me a stand for my phone, please. Thank you. How was school today? Fun. What'd you learn? Uh, nothing really. We're just doing centers and stuff like that. Uh, did you learn anything exciting? Mm. Not really? No. We're just doing some stuff, like packages, stuff like that. Okay. Gotta go put gas. Okay. Dinner, done. All the kids ate, everyone's happy, nice and full, nice and full? Yes. Yes? No? Yes. Ugh. No. Yes. I made spaghetti, no. garlic bread, and some white sauce for my picky eater, Alize, who doesn't like tomato sauce. And we're gonna watch Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune. Can anyone guess what happened to my lovely whirlpool? Microwave. What is it called? It it ate the dust. Bit the dust. Bit the dust. <laughs> it bit the dust. How do you bite the dust? How do you bite it? <laughs> How does the song go, Mom? It bit the dust. It, it ate the dust. It licked the dust. <laughs> Right before Christmas. Yeah, it has no warranty. Yeah, it was only has one year warranty. Oh, no wonder. Now we gotta go buy a freaking new microwave. It's gonna cost us three hundred and something dollars. Great. When it rains, it what? Floods. Floods. Yeah. <laughs> it rains. It's it's yes, rain. mom. I'm just kidding, mom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Welcome to the family. New. Right away.